Time. Some big news tonight in the coronavirus pandemic. The White House has announced these boosters we keep talking about will likely become a yearly shot. We likely are moving towards a path with a vaccination cadence similar to that of the annual influenza vaccine with annual updated COVID-19 shots matched to the currently circulating strains for most of the population. Yeah, so this announcement comes as the new COVID booster shots are being rolled out across the country. This one targets the new sub variants of Omicron. You can get one in D.C. starting tomorrow along with your flu shot. I know you may have questions about this, so we spent the night trying to get you some answers. Our Casey Nolan caught up with, caught up with the doctor so you know what to expect when you get this next dose. And now, Casey, it sounds like we're going to have to stay on top of this. We are, Lorenzo. And in fact, there's some concern, though, that even people who got the vaccine and got boosted are now getting complacent about COVID and may not get this new booster right when their immunity from the previous shots is starting to wear off. Well, I think we need to recognize that people are very tired of COVID-19, but unfortunately COVID-19 is not quite tired of us yet. While COVID-19 remains among us, the FDA, CDC, and local health officials agree. The latest vaccine booster offers better protection against the dominant COVID strain, Omicron and its subvariants. And the timing is good, says Dr. Adam Brown. We're starting to approach that time where the immunity, a person's immunity is starting to wane at a time when more people are going to be moving about for the upcoming holiday season. Brown says it's true these latest boosters were not widely tested on people like the original mRNA COVID vaccines. He says that would be redundant because the updates don't change the way the vaccines work. And so we already have a significant amount of information on the safety profile of this mRNA vaccine. Remember, this updated vaccine still contains 50% of the original vaccine. And the second part of the vaccine has some slight changes to it that are more targeted to BA4 and BA5 subvariants. Starting Wednesday, the updated vaccines will be available across the DMV for free. But Dr. Brown says that doesn't mean access will be easy for everyone. We need to ensure that we are still getting vaccines out to our most vulnerable. Now, to get the newest booster, you need to be 12 and older, and it needs to have been at least two months since your last booster. If you didn't get that last booster, that's okay. But if you've never had the COVID vaccine at all, you do need to have that before you can get this new booster. The shots will be available at pharmacies and vaccine clinics across the DMV, and they are free. And Lorenzo flu shots are available starting tomorrow. Doctors say not only is it safe to get the flu shot and the COVID booster at the same time, they actually recommend it. All right, so we're talking two shots here. Casey, I know a lot of people felt the side effects after that COVID shot. Some people even took a day off from work because of it. So yeah. could getting the flu shot at the same time make those side effects any worse? Okay, so doctors say the side effects are still possible, yes. But so far, there is no evidence that the two shots at the same time will make those side effects any worse. So right now, they're not really that worried about it. All right, Casey Nolan, thank you, my friend.